Hey everybody, thanks for joining me again. It's been a while uh, in between long videos. I've been doing a lot of shorts recently, just putting a lot of shorts up. And I've got a long video today and it's a special occasion because I have got a box. I have got a box. I've got a mystery box. I, I think, I know, I know there's something in here. I know what it is, but there's other stuff in here that this guy put in here for me. And it's a mystery. And I know for a fact that it's going to be very, very high quality stuff. Some really expensive stuff that's in here as well that um, this person has given me. Let's call him person A. All right. And the way that they've wrapped this box up, I doubt I'll ever be able to open it. So that'll be the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe. I should actually give it a go. All right, I'll give it a go and hopefully I don't damage the world whilst I'm trying to do... How do you even open this box, buddy? You did this on purpose. Okay. How to confuse a YouTube fragrance reviewer in one easy step. This will probably be it. Damn you. This is like a freaking safe. How do you even get in here? I'm just gonna start cutting things randomly. I have my trusty uh, on a craft craft knife, I'm making the incision with my scalpel. Holy crap! It looks simple, folks, but trust me, it's anything but. Did I say I was not going to edit this? This is probably not going to end up in the video, so I can be as churlish as I like. You can Google that if you don't know what it means. You can tell me what it means because I probably used it incorrectly. Please excuse me, English is my fourth language. I know what's in here is precious, but holy shit, dude. If this turns into a meme, rightly so. 10 hours later. With that, I have blunted my knife. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Here we go. That's the first one. It's the first one in there, if that focuses, can you see that? And it says, Lady Million by, by Paco Rabanne. Amazing. Looking forward to that one, Lady Million by Paco Rabanne. Okay, packaging tape, packaging tape, something in here. Lots of packaging material. What's in the box? That's in the mystery box, more packaging material. This is riveting viewing, I believe. All right, there's a lot of smells coming from here. What else, am I missing anything else? It certainly smells like something is, it's a very, very lovely smelling box is what he said to her. Okay, uh, there's something wrapped up in here. Where's my freaking craft knife? Here we go. This is something familiar to people, isn't it? This one here. This is a Ventus. This is a Ventus, and I got it because it's an older batch. And I and I'm, I'm sorry. It's just one of the things that I wanted to do is check out an older batch. I think I had a decant of something from this year. Certainly smells different to the batch that I've currently got, which is one of the F batch bottles. Okay, what else do we have? We have from the house of Kemi, which is now owned by Zerzhov. This is Hayat. It's a one mil, uh, it's a one mil eau de parfum. It's a 65% volume on the back, right? 65% which kind of means that it's a very high concentration, but it's in a little, it's it's in a little ball like this. And I, be, I believe you like break off the tab and apply it to yourself. Man, people trying to get like creative and things like that. I'm not quite sure what to make of the applicability of something like this. That's one. Uh, here's by Zerzhov, a sample of Herba Pura, which, I don't know, it's, it's all right. I mean, it's quite popular, but really not my thing. And this is a sample of Abraj 
from the spirit of Dubai. Again, um, quite a nice uh, fragrance house from the uh, from the Middle East. They put a lot of notes into their fragrances. Lady Million, which I showed you already, and a little sample of Blue Sapphire from Bodicea the Victorious. That's what that shit smells like. And there's quite a bit in there. And this stuff is really, really strong. So I think uh, this will give me a very good idea on whether or not I want to get myself a full bottle of this. It is on my list of things that I want to buy because I figured I should get this. This is a very expensive bottle, by the way. Um, retails for over $1,000 here in Australia. And it's a very nice fragrance indeed. However, it's a, uh, like I said, there's, there's cost issues with associated with that and it needs to be a very special occasion. So I thought I would get this for myself for my birthday this year, maybe because I'm, I'm, I'm a September baby and blue is the color of September and sapphire is the rock of September. So I learned that by chance and therefore it's fitting that I should get myself a bottle of this for my birthday and it'd be very good to find out whether or not this stuff works well on my skin. I've only sampled it a couple of times, maybe like three times I think over the course of the the years. Oh, what's in here you might be thinking. Well, let's find out. I almost forgot. Craft knife coming in handy again. When are you going to get to smell any of this stuff? Uh, you may be asking. Uh, are you going to spray all of this on everywhere and make yourself nose blind? Probably. It smells pretty strong in there. I would probably say that some of this stuff has leaked out. Some very nice fragrances indeed. Okay, let's, let's have a go. Yeah, it's, it's like a melange of fragrances in here. Uh, good Britain. Good Britain? That's a good Britain. It's not Great Britain. No, actually it is. This one is Roger, Roger Dove. It is, it says Good Britain, but it's actually Great Britain. I've actually tested this before, once before. Um, not my favorite, but maybe with a few wearings, I might come around. Uh, there is Turandot by, again, by Roger Dove, a sample of that, a uh, little bitty sample of that one, which I appreciate. Okay. Hmm, interesting. And, oh, this is the one that's leaked because it's, uh, as you can see, the ink has come off the sticker and this is leaking everywhere. So, Let's make sure. Ooh, that's quite pungent. And, ooh, okay. And there's uh, quite a bit in here, which and I assume that there was a quite a bit more than this uh, when it was initially filled. This is, again, from the house of Roger Dove. Um, this is Semi Bespoke 26. And this is Semi Bespoke number 9. This is semi-bespoke number three. And this is semi-bespoke number 25. And that makes me a very happy man. I'm going to have a very good time testing all of these. I don't necessarily want to do it all in the one go and I don't really necessarily want to do, what do I do with all of this? what to do with all of this you know what i don't think i don't think i can do justice to all of these fragrances in the one go so i'm going to be very very specific about what i do right now i'm going to skip the aventus and the lady million i know i know uh and the herba pura and the hayat and the abrage and the blue sapphire as well i'll go straight towards semi bespoke 25 or 26 hold on hmm. yeah 
25. Okay, let's have a go. Whoa, there's a bit of dirt in here. You could definitely smell that there's oud in here. But uh, off the top, there was like this aldehydic floral, which I was right because there is florals in here a lot. Jasmine, which always works well with uh, dirty notes underneath it because of its uh, indoles. That's, that's pretty nice, actually. I think it reminds me of one of the... Uh, Pierre de Valais, so good. Okay, let that sort of um, develop. And probably on my other arm, I'll do semi-bespoke number three. Okay. Ooh, citrus. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. That's a really good one. Semi bespoke number three. Three is my favorite number. Very realistic lemon, lemon bergamot sort of thing. Really good. There's ambergris in here as well. Ambergris, ambergris, sorry. It's a very nice, um, it's almost very old school, you know? It, it does smell very old school. Semi bespoke three. Like it's a, it's like what happens when you. It's like what happens when you have like uh, digitally re not digitally remastered yes digitally remastered, an an older song or a, a movie or even like if if it's a remake that's been done well or if it's an interpolation by a, a bunch of really talented musicians that know the vibe and know the feel but they bring the engineering, the audio engineering, for example, if it's the example of a song, they bring that into the modern day. And that's generally what Roger does really well, I think, um, is, bring, is bring his knowledge of perfume history and give it like 4K resolution, for example or really high fidelity audio sounds, you know? It's a really, really, really realistic citrus uh, opening. I just, uh, very impressive. The la There's lavender uh, and cardamom in here now. And the ambergris in the base. That's really cool. That's really nice. Like if you like Something like, uh, I guess, if you if you if you like something like Eau Sauvage, that would be a really good one. Twenty five has mellowed out a little bit. The jasmine seems to be coming up a little bit more. Uh, the jasmine seems to be coming up a little bit more. And the thing that sort of, I think, tempers the animalic facets of the oud that's in here, oud leather that's in here, is saffron. Um, saffron tends to, you, yeah, it's not at the fore, it's not at the foreground, right? But it's there, just to smooth things out. Saffron and leather work pretty well generally, and jasmine and sort of animalic notes work really well generally as well. But there was this blast of sort of aldehy aldehydic floral uh, in the opening. It was very short uh, and in the air. It wasn't close up. And it's kind of still there in the sillage. And that smells great. That smells fantastic as a matter of fact. So it, that would be interesting. I don't think... I don't think I'm going to do the rest of these justice right now. But I will come back to all of these and uh, and give my thoughts on all of these. Probably in a, in a better setup. I don't want to spray them on 
tester strips either. I want to spray them directly on skin so I don't want to waste the wearing because I don't have a full bottle of these. And I'm very thankful to actually have a chance to try something from the semi-bespoke collection because nobody sells them here and you have to sort of blind buy what is essentially like a you know one and a half thousand dollar bottle from from overseas and have it shipped here so um, really really appreciate that there's four of them to go through plus great britain and turando which I'm, I'm looking forward to as well oh of course and lady million lady million that one i'll cherish and i'll do a special special episode for that okay well that's it for now um We'll probably come back to the rest of these in another video. I think that's long enough. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, wait. Thanks for watching. <laughs>